Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Arrow. This is going to be my review for the final ever episode of Arrow. Obviously, we got the spin-off coming, Green Arrow and the Canaries, so that will be something to look forward to, you know, to continue the Arrow legacy, but the Arrow show is now over, so I stayed up last night, I watched it, and I loved the episode. I thought it was a great conclusion, and we'll talk about this right now. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So I think this review is not going to be, you know, my typical way of reviewing because it's the final episode. I've got to talk about my thoughts about the show as a whole and, you know, the way it ended, what it sets up and everything like that. So it's not specifically breaking down the entire episode, although we will break down different points of the episode. It just won't be the whole episode. And so, yeah, Arrow is officially over. This was the final episode ever. And I reckon Steven will actually come back in the future as Green Arrow, as Oliver Queen. Yes, he is dead, but I think he can definitely appear sometime in the future, whether it be a different version or if Oliver comes back or something like that. But it won't be on his own show because Arrow is done. And yeah, so I kind of appreciated how after Crisis, when he actually died, they kept him dead. And I really thought that they would bring him back once again. I thought that they would go back on that just because it's like Arrow's final episode. They would, you know, bring him back and he would be all good. But I really appreciated how this episode looked back at the past, looked back at Oliver's life and sort of accepted that. And, you know, we had so many returning characters. It was crazy. My mind was blowing up sort of every few seconds when you see these massive returning characters. A few times I shouted out loud, basically because, you know, in excitement, basically. And so, yeah, it was a very, very well done episode, well directed, but also well performed because you had all these different characters coming in. And I thought it was just a really emotional note to end the show on because, you know, you got the funeral and stuff like that. Lots of people show up. I think my favorite cameos were Kara and Barry showing up because I had no expectations to see them on the show. And so that was one of the moments where I sort of shouted. It was a brilliant surprise to see them because I feel like it was necessary, even though I didn't expect it to happen. Because, you know, they're the trinity, they're the main trinity of the Arrowverse. And, you know, Oliver's going, I felt like it was very fitting that they showed up. And, yeah, so I kind of definitely freaked out when Barry showed up first and then Kara showed up right after at the funeral scene. And Barry, you know, and Kara are sort of with Felicity, with all the rest of the team, with Diggle and... You know, the list goes on. If you see, you know, the screenshots of, you know, the whole funeral, like, seriously, how many people are there? It's crazy. And so I really appreciated all the cameos in this episode. I mean, I can't list them all off because there's just so damn much. I think the most impactful ones was actually Felicity showing up again and White Canary showing up, you know, Sarah. And those ones were really sort of like, whoa, they're back. Like, yeah, obviously Sarah was in the crossover, so that's not such a big surprise. However, a great moment because, you know, she sort of was there since nearly the start, but, you know, she's had a lasting impact on the show that's been very important. And then also, at the same time, you have, you know, Felicity returning. That's massive. She left at the end of last season, left on that cliffhanger, and they answered that cliffhanger with the ending of the show, the final, you know, few frames of the show was essentially, you know, those two in the afterlife, you know, they're back together, Elicity lives on, and I thought it was a really touching scene, and just seeing her return, I sort of just shouted, I was like, holy shit, she's back. Obviously, I was expecting it because it was announced that she was going to come back, but it was very impactful, and I think I've missed Felicity, even though I wasn't always the biggest Felicity fan, I've always liked her though, so it was great seeing her back. And, you know, I felt like her cameo was the most impactful out of all the cameos because, you know, it was so personal for her, like, even more personal than, you know, just Oliver's friends and stuff. And so, yeah, this episode just did a really good job wrapping up the whole season. Obviously, most of the first part of the season was setting up Crisis. I thought that was very good because, you know, it sort of led into Oliver's death and what happened with all of that during Crisis and, you know, definitely led into these final few episodes after Crisis and especially the finale. So what are the big things that happened? There was a massive reveal towards the end of the episode to do with John Diggle. It seems like John's actually moving to Metropolis. So will he show up in the Superman and Lois show? 
that's a likely possibility people have been theorizing about it now and you know towards the end of the episode there was sort of this meteor you know a comet sort of hitting and landing right in front of john it sort of smacked him back and it was a green lantern ring it was definitely that and so this is the john stewart sort of tease that we've been waiting for for so long obviously they teased it last year in elseworlds and this gives a way for john to actually continue on in these other shows and you have to remember all these characters still exist so they can appear on any other show so that's not a problem however this is massive will he show up in the green lantern show i think that's very interesting there's been rumors that that might be a part of the arrowverse so maybe that's gonna happen we'll have to wait and see but that's about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed it this is a bit shorter than normal i just wanted to briefly give my thoughts on arrow as a whole i love the show and I love everything they've done, and I thought this finale was really fitting. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.